Okay, so what in the world do I have here? We have a doll stroller pram ensemble. And this is just as I've taken it out of the package. It came in just this plain box right here. Okay, there are no instructions that I see in it. Maybe they're inside this package. So let's take a look. This is everything as I pulled it out. And the wheels and everything must be tucked inside here. So let's try to get this out. Okay, I see that if I... This, oh, there's our wheels. Still don't see any instructions in here. And that released it, so it doesn't look like that much to assemble. Okay, guys, I did find the instructions. I thought I was taping a minute ago, so I had them all sealed up. They were in, the instructions were in this portion of the stroller and they were packed up in here along with the wheel clips and the wheel caps. This is by Mommy and Me Doll Collection and this is instruction sheet 9346. So the wheels are very easy to put on. You just take a wheel, you remove the you remove the black protector that's just for shipping purposes. We can discard that. And then you place the wheel this side first onto the axle there. Take your wheel clip, you have four of these, and you put this on with the wider side going into the wheel. Okay, it goes with the wider side going in into the wheel, and then you take your wheel cap. And that clips in. And you're going to repeat that for the rest of the wheels. I put the, just take this off again. Your wheel, pop it on, take your clip. Pop that on and then your cap, put that on there. And I'm sorry, we have our last wheel to put on here. Again, we're gonna put it on just like this. And then we're going to take the wheel clip, clip that in, and then the wheel cap just goes right on. And there's little notches. And there, the, the wheels are on. See, so that's really, there's not much assembly to it. Back, you have the little basket. Foot rest can move up and down as shown. See, I mean, I don't want to force it, but maybe I do have to just push it. Yeah, but that's right. I always, you know, you always get nervous forcing something. Okay, and then yeah, okay. So there is no, you just pop it into position like that. Okay. And let's see what else we have. After unfolding, slide down the upper joints at two ends of the handle to fasten the top of the front tubes to ensure the second safety locks. Okay, that these must be what this is. Oh, I see. So I knew that this had a purpose now. Can you see that? I hope. Let me just pan up. I just want to make sure you see that. These are going to go down. So you've got your two sets of safety locks. That's going to hold it in. Go to the other side and do the same thing. So we've got that right there. Now, okay, so we have our canopy and we're going to slide that right up here. put that one in all the way in until I get this one a little bit in. Okay, now I'll put them, now I'll slide them all the way in. Okay. 
to carry things. So this would go onto look at this plastic okay. the handle up front here. Okay, so this is this is going to be able to go on there, or you could store it underneath. And then this is going to be the seat back, I'm sure. And I don't, I think that just sits in there. It should just sit in there like that. Or the handle is adjustable just like in a regular stroller for different heights. And the wheels have little hearts on them, which is cute. So that's about it. I'm going to finish putting this together here, and then I'll show you what it uh, looks like all together. Okay, guys, so I've put the pram part on. Now, I will tell Mommy and me, you really should have someone um, expanding the directions because it really doesn't speak about the pram or how to attach that or... A lot of other things in here and so you know it'd be a good idea to kind of go over and update these otherwise it could be a bit frustrating also I think a good thing to mention would be that there's no release on the seat back and the footrest and you just pull it down or up because that is a little scary to most people that deal with a regular stroller that are used to having some type of release on that you know in order not to destroy it so there's usually you pull it out or something. So if it's going to be like that, maybe even a label would be a good idea. Now, the handle, like I said, is adjustable for different heights. It's a little awkward, I will say, trying to adjust it by yourself because you have to push in on both buttons and then push this up and down. So you've, you've really got to maneuver it. I can't imagine even a child of six or eight being able to do that I mean, much less a three or a four-year-old so the parent will definitely have to do that it will go down if you have a very small child pushing you know it'll go down like that and it will really go into I think just about almost any position it's up that's the the furthest up it will go. So for the pream, what I did is you took this, this baby carrier and I put the footrest up all the way, put the backrest down all the way, put this in, put the straps under, because otherwise that doesn't really look like a pream. Straps are all over the place. And then I put inside, see if you can see that, the things that were on the seat cover, the cushions that were on the seat cover. Okay, and what else I did was make sure that this elastic in the back of the hood was tucked under and around. Other than that, like I said, we have the bag which can go, you know, here on the front or it can be kept. That's the thing, it's going to probably pop down under there all the time and be a pain. So the best thing probably would be just to put it under in the basket. And if that's how it goes. And then the canopy can be pushed back. And, you know, it, it'll roll along. But that's about it, guys. And then in this, you know, in the interim, they could use this as a doll bed, doll carrier, if they're using the stroller. So it has these coordinating pieces. This is from Mommy and Me. And it's instruction sheet 9346. This is the bubble, the gumball design. So there's all these gumballs. So it's colorful gumballs and black. But, I mean, it's a good quality stroller for a child. I mean, have all these little features that come a long way, right? 
Okay guys, it's going to rain really quick. I just wanted to show you the stroller out here because there are some things that I saw that could use improvement. It could use brakes, okay? That would be a really good idea because it will roll. It has no brakes. The second thing is this inside is a 17-inch doll. Now, if you're talking about American Girl Bitty Babies, this is a Corel doll. This is an 17-inch, uh, and you'll see it's really snug for her in the buggy part. She could probably sit just fine in the seat, but just so you that you know, it's going to be snug. And I think the Bitty Babies from like American Girl not quite sure of the size there but so yeah this is a 17 inch and the other thing I wanted to show you I didn't have the front of the hood down all the way inside so you see that now but again it, it needs brakes okay so just to show you Lacey is a masterpiece art artist doll she's 34 inches tall and the handle you know fits her well so for a child around that height. You see how that works. And it can be adjusted different ways too.